All right, so this is gonna be a quick video on how to activate Z-Link after you've either updated your Android tablet or you're just having issues with Z-Link where it says it's not activated. So, I'm gonna launch the Z-Link app. And right now it's gonna say I'm not connected to the internet. It's gonna reload because I just connected the Wi-Fi a couple seconds ago, which you're gonna have to do. Go basically go in here, go to settings, Wi-Fi, and then select whatever net gear, like uh, network you want. I almost said net gear there. And then go back to Z-Link. You'll come in here and you'll go, okay. And you'll see mine has already been activated. That's because I've already put in the activation code and already linked that to this device. Now you're gonna have your own activation code down here, which I'm gonna blur this out so that you know nobody can use my activation code. And you'll have to contact your manufacturer in order to get it. Or before you run an update, you go in here, you go to about, and you're actually gonna see something that says activation code or key code, and you're gonna use that to activate your device. All right, and once you've done that, all you've gotta do is connect your phone to Bluetooth, and I'll do that right now, and then you're gonna see Apple CarPlay instantly start. Just like that, wireless Apple CarPlay is right back. And uh, you don't even have to go into here and change any of your uh, settings. All you have to do is connect to Bluetooth and CarPlay should automatically start working over wireless. If you come in here, you'll see that hotspot tethering has automatically turned on. It's already shared the password key with my phone and it's automatically coming here and disabled Wi-Fi. So, so they're just easy that activate Z-Link Connect your phone as long as you're, as long as you're on the latest uh, MCU update, which is 3.78, at least for my head unit. Apple CarPlay wirelessly should just work like a charm, and yeah, can't say I've been happier with this.